Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be doing a Missouri unboxing and try on of some of their new arrivals on the site. If you happen to be new here on my channel, I'll have my discount link down below in the description box and also pinned in the comments if you wanna save some money on your Missouri order. I am so excited for their summer launches, so we're gonna get into that. Before we do, I wanna start off with the pieces that I am currently wearing since I have changed up my stack a little bit and you guys always ask about what pieces that I have on during my videos. So we're gonna start with my rings. Okay, I've got you guys kind of zoomed in so that you can see the pieces of jewelry that I have on. Also, it literally just started downpouring so if you hear some like background noise that is the rain it has been so stormy in nashville and it comes out of nowhere so that's what that sound is but i will also have everything linked down below in the description box in the order that i talk about it so if there's any piece that you're interested in if i don't know the name of it i will have it linked down below in the order that i talk about it so first up this is the soft charlotte pave diamond ring this is probably one of my most worn rings i got it in a size five and and I can easily fit it on my pointer finger. Sometimes if my hands aren't swollen, I can get it on my middle finger, but I really love it on my pointer finger. It has a variation of pave diamonds and then solid gold. I just feel like it's a really, really beautiful statement ring. I also love that the design goes all the way around the ring. So I feel like this is such a showstopper. Truly one of my favorite rings. I wear it so often and it's just stunning. Next up, this is the Beam Pave Diamond Open Cigar Band. This is a relatively new ring to my jewelry collection. It is a thicker band. It's 14 karat gold, so same with this ring and this ring. I can wear it to wash my hands. I can wear it in the shower if I want to. I don't typically wear my rings in the shower, but I do wash my hands with my 14 karat gold rings on, and that's one of my favorite things about Missouri's 14 karat gold is that you don't have to take them off to like wash your hands or be overly careful with them like you would with the Vermeer pieces but this band I also got in a size 5 because it is an open band it actually fits on my middle finger perfectly so I ended up getting this band in a size 5 for that specific purpose to fit on my middle finger with thicker rings they can be a little bit tighter so because it's an open band though it, it does have some flex so I can get it on and off of my middle finger really easily so I love wearing this one on my middle finger and it has a tiny little row of diamonds on both sides of the opening this ring right here is the wishbone stacker ring in the pave diamond you can get it in a set with a 14 karat gold wishbone stacker and stack both of them I only have the pave diamond one and I love this one I have it in a size 4 for my right hand ring finger and it is such a beautiful ring. This one is a 14 karat gold band, but it has white gold prongs, I believe. So the diamonds in this one are super, super sparkly, and it's just a fun ring to stack over other rings. On my left hand here, I just have on my engagement ring, which is a moissanite ring, and then a diamond princess halo cut wedding band from Naomi. And then this is a open beam ring from Shuri in 14 karat gold. So this is the thin beam ring. And this one can also come in a set with a pave diamond ring. Actually, I have it with me right here. I actually have all my rings with me. This ring here has the diamonds in it. So you can see it's very subtle, but this one that I have on is the 14 karat gold, no diamond version of it, but you can stack them together and wear them like that if you want, or you can obviously wear them separately. I have this in a size four as well. For my earrings, I've got on the large pearl huggies, and these are so fun. They're actually 14 karat gold and pearl, and I love the contrast of the super small thin gold hoop with the very enlarged dramatic pearl. This earring looks so good on a main piercing. Like if you only have one piercing, it's so beautiful. It's such a statement, but I also really love it 
on a third or a second. For my middle piercing here, I have on the diamond pave bold huggy hoops. And these ones are earrings I literally never take out. I've worn them for years now and they are some of my absolute favorites. I sleep in them and I, like I said, I never ever take them out. So they kind of are always in my second piercing. And then these are the pave diamond large hoops. And these ones are super, super sparkly. All of these are 14 karat gold and really, really beautiful together. This rain is actually insane. <laughs> I hope you guys can hear me over the legitimate downpour that is happening right now. Okay, so for my necklace stack, I've got on the serpentine necklace. I think this is the 15 inch, whichever the shorter necklace is, it's this one. I absolutely love the serpentine line. It is one of the most beautiful, it's super reflective. It just layers with everything. So I have this necklace on and then I have the essential pearl necklace on. I love pearls in the summer. I love pearls all year round, but I just think Pearls are such a fun way to change up just like your normal gold jewelry. So this is the essential pearl necklace. I've got it on the second clasp setting. So it has, I think three or four different length setting options. And this is the second one. And then this longer chain is the Rolo chain. And this is 18 inches. It also can hold different charms. I have three on right now. The diamond letter pendant in W, a bail tag charm, and then then this pearl charm. Again, I love pearls and diamonds in a stack, but these are my necklaces. And then for my bracelets, I feel like this stack doesn't change too often. On my right wrist, I have on the serpentine chain bracelet, I believe in the six inch or 6.5 inch, whichever the smaller one is, is the one that I have on. And then on this wrist, I have on the diamond bar bracelet, I believe is what it's called. It might be like the diamond line or the diamond bar bracelet. I always get the name of this one wrong, but I have on this one. And then this is the paperclip chain charm bracelet. And I have on the pave star charm and the emerald charm as well. They're so dainty, it's so hard to see. And then this is the Rolo chain charm bracelet. So this one, I don't have any charms on. Both of these are in the smaller sizes. This is my bracelet stack though. I hardly ever change these mostly because it's just really hard for me to switch out bracelets regularly without help. So these kind of stay the same. Also, I really love the stack. I have like some diamonds, some chunky, this cool Rolo chain. So I really like where it's at. Now the storm is over. I'm telling you guys, these thunderstorms in Nashville or like these rainstorms that come in happen for like a minute and a half and then it's like gone. It's so bizarre, it's so spotty, but we are going to open up the new pieces now that I've shown you everything that's on me. I know it's a lot to go through. I wear a lot of jewelry, but this is what the Missouri box looks like when it's delivered to your doorstep. You do have to sign for your Missouri pieces. And this is how it comes packaged. If you happen to be new to Missouri, you'll get a little card and then you'll have your dust bag. So as you can see, we have quite a few pieces to go through. So this is what the dust bag looks like. And inside of our dust bag here, we've got the Missouri box. It has the embossed logo on it. And then as we open it up here, we've got a dust bag. Underneath the dust bag, we also have the jewelry clean cloth. I would highly recommend holding on to these for polishing up your jewelry, especially if you have vermeil pieces. These are gonna be incredibly handy, so do not throw these away. But inside of our first little dust bag, we've got some new earrings. These are actually brand new to Missouri. These are the plush small hoops. They are 14 karat gold, they're bold, and they are beautiful. All right, I'm gonna bring you guys in so you can see these are the hoops though. So lightweight, 14 karat gold, like I said, gorgeous. And they just kind of unclasp like that and then they hook in. So I'm going to pop out these here and put in these new hoops. I feel like these are such a good everyday bold hoop. I love those. And the fact that they're 14 karat gold, so, so good. Those are so pretty. I'm gonna actually pop this out here 
and add in a different earring. I actually have all of my jewelry with me right here. I don't wanna like tip it over cause it would definitely just all pour out, but I'm going to swap out those for a little stud here. These are also Missouri. I'll have these linked. I think these are called the Pave Dot Stud. Ooh, that's a cute stack. I really, really like that. How gorgeous is that? I love these so much. So, so pretty. I'm actually gonna pop out these and move the plush hoop over to where that one was and where on my second. And then I'm gonna put in these Pave bold medium hoop. So this is the hoop that was in my second and this is the bigger size. And I'm gonna see what this stack looks like. I really like that as well. And then one more just for fun. I wanna see what it looks like with the Verme Charlotte hoops next to it. So that's pretty. I really like it as a second actually. It's gorgeous. And then actually, let's just do one more. So this is a little pearl hoop that's for May. And I feel like this would be really pretty as well. That's pretty. Let's just try this again. Ooh, I love that combo. That's really fun too. I feel like you could have a lot of fun with these because they are so bold, but they're simple enough to where you could have fun with like pearls or diamonds. So, so pretty. Next up, we've got some more to unbox. Inside of here, we've got two rings. So first ring, this is the dot ring, and this is actually not a new ring. I actually have this in a size four, so this is the size four. And I wear this one on my ring finger, and it's the only finger that the size four fits. This is like one of my favorite rings. And so I wanted to grab it in another size to where I could wear it on other fingers. So I got it in a size five. I am so excited for this ring. It's so pretty. If you want really, really good texture, but you don't want to get something with diamonds in it, this is an incredible ring. It's also so fun to stack. So I'm going to stack it with the emerald baguette ring. It has such good texture. I love the dot ring. It just feels really unique too. This is the Baguette Eternity Band and I feel like this would be a really pretty stack as well. So, so pretty. And then this is the other ring. This is a diamond signet ring and it is so, so pretty. This is, I think technically supposed to be like a pinky ring, but I just thought this would be so pretty worn, not as a pinky ring. So I got this one in a size five as well. It's so, so pretty and sparkly. Like you almost can't even capture how sparkly and beautiful it is. It's gorgeous. Oh, I love that. I feel like maybe I could fit it on my middle finger right now because my hands aren't as swollen. So I could also fit it there and wear the dot ring like that. So, so pretty. Next up, we've got another little box here. And inside of here, we've got Missouri's newest launch. This is their gelato collection for their Charlotte line. If you guys are newer to my channel, I've talked about the Charlotte line so many times. It's one of my favorite jewelry lines that Missouri has ever done. These are the Charlotte line. I have the Charlotte ring that I wear all the time. I've got the soft Charlotte pave ring that I showed you guys. I've got so many different variations of the Charlotte line. And so they just released a new collection called their like scoop shop, I think gelato line. And these are enamel covered verme pieces. They actually did a pop-up in New York. I saw they did it in Brooklyn of an ice cream shop to celebrate the launch of their gelato line. And I was so sad that it was only for a weekend because I'm going to New York, I think in August. And I was hoping that it would still be there when I went, but sadly it was just for a weekend. But if you happened to go to that pop-up shop, I'm so jealous. I really wish I could have gone because it looked incredible. They like went all out and did a whole storefront and a whole like themed store and everything. But all that to say, this is the 
gelato line. So they come in this like sweet cream, this pistachio color, and then they also have lavender and like a chocolate brown. I was thinking about getting the chocolate brown and the cream color, but honestly, for some reason, I was really, really drawn to the pistachio. I thought that'd be so fun for the summer. And so I got the pistachio and the cream in, I think these are size five. So with this line, obviously you can get one and wear it by itself. It's just like such a fun take on their Charlotte line. You can also stack them. So I thought I would end up stacking them together because they are so fun and so bold and very like summery and vibrant. You can obviously have a lot of fun with these rings, but I really loved the lavender one as well. I was having a hard time choosing between the lavender and the pistachio, but I thought the green would be so, so pretty. I just think they're such a fun launch. And then last box here, we've got two little dust bags in it. And inside of here, we've got, ooh, we've got some charms. So these are the gelato inspired charms for their earrings. I think you could maybe put them on over a necklace. They might be a little too small, but they definitely will fit over some earrings. So I have them in the pistachio color. And then this other dust bag, we've got two of the charms in the cream. So I'm gonna pop these on to some hoops. So we're moving these. I'm gonna grab my, which hoops would they fit on? Will they fit on the diamond ones? I guess I could try it on these diamond ones and do, let's see about this. That is so fun. Okay, so you can do them on these, any of your diamond hoops like that, that fits really easily. And then you could even maybe like do a couple of them if you wanted to have them like stacked like that. You can also put them on, let's see, I've got all of my hoops here, so I wanna see what other ones. So these are the bold medium pave hoops, and I think that they would fit on these as well. Yeah, so they fit on those hoops. These are the large bold hoops, I believe. I'll have them linked down below which ones these are, but I think that these should work on these larger hoops as well. So fun. I do think that these look better on a thinner hoop. So I feel like the thinner the hoop, the better for these kind of charms. So I'm gonna put them on these little essential tube hoops. These are my thinnest hoop that I have and see what these look like. Yeah, I really, really like these charms on these more dainty hoops. I feel like that is a really cute look. So fun. So you could definitely wear like the same color in the charm as the ring and have a match. I really, really like the cream. Obviously it feels like the safest choice for me being a neutral girl, but I feel like they look so good matching. And then if you wanted to, you could stack the charms or have them match. So let's do the green ones just to see what those look like. And then the green ring. And that's a really fun look as well, having them match like that. But those are all of the new pieces. I will have everything, like I said, linked down below in the description box. If you wanna check any of them out, also be sure to use my discount, which will be linked in the description box and pinned in the comments as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, seeing some of Missouri's newest launches. They come out with new stuff, I think like every week. So I've been having a lot of fun stalking their site and seeing all of the fun summer pieces that they've come out with. If you like this video though, be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite piece was from this haul. And if you happen to be new here and you wanna stick around for some more videos, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button check out my full Madrid playlist linked down below and I'll see you guys in my next one really, really soon. Bye guys. Bye.